Hey, I'm Perry from the Venture Out Project. We're a nonprofit organization and we lead backcountry backpacking trips for the queer and trans community. And I'm here to introduce a great little clip that our friend Ryan Salins made in support of the Venture Out Project. So check out Ryan's pro tips on how to conserve energy in the backcountry and how to travel safely when hiking. And check out the VentureOutProject.com so maybe you can join us on a trip. Thanks a lot, Ryan, for your support. Enjoy the film. Hey, this is Ryan Salins. I'm at Storm King Mountain doing a hike in memory of the 14 firefighters killed, uh, trying to put out a fire and save towns around here in Colorado. Um, I'm going to give you a few hiking tips along the trail, but otherwise this is a memory of the 14 firefighters killed on July 6, 1994. And here's a sign-in for it. Let's say you're going up a hill. It's really steep. <clears throat> And you think, uh, I'm just going to run up that to get up it and be done with it. The key is not to wear yourself out and not to lose all your oxygen. So what you should do is have a slow and steady pace with nice and even strides and bring in enough oxygen so you don't have to stop. And you'll get up to the hill faster, you'll feel better, and you'll have more stamina for the rest of the hike. And now for a downhill tip. Let's say, oh, I have a steep hill. What if I just run down this so that I don't fall? Well, there's lots of loose soil there and you may lose your balance. So the key is to spread your feet out far and squat backwards. We call it the old man squat. And then do a little bit of a zigzag down the hill. That way, if you do slip and fall, you fall on your butt instead of falling forward. But the likelihood of falling is less because you have more center of gravity in that squat. Which I'll So here's one more Hiking 101 tip as far as conserving energy. Let's say that this log was turned this way on the trail and you're walking, you may be inclined to step on top of it like this and jump over. But to conserve energy, the smartest thing actually is to try to avoid doing that and instead just stepping over the log and keep going. Just one more little tip to help you on your travels. One more piece of information. I found this bottle on the trail and also this cheese tick on another part of the trail, don't do this. If you find litter, pick it up, pack it out, dispose of it properly. Let's conserve nature and its beauty for everyone on the trail and for the wildlife that lives here.